I'm comedian Timmy Boyle, and this is the greatest live Instagram comedy experience that nobody knew about. March of 2020, I just arrived home from tour when COVID-19 shut down the world. So despite being severely technically challenged, I started a daily live Instagram show right here from my living room. Because how hard could it be? And how long could a pandemic last? Apparently longer than five months. So now, a hundred episodes later, I've called comedians as diverse in experience as they are in style from all around the world to discuss comedy, life, and, well, whatever. I had no goals, which was a great idea. I avoided tech checks, which was a bad idea. And I eventually wore no pants. The jury's still out on that one. And my OJ, over 150 days, transformed from refreshing drink to rancid mystery liquid right before our eyes. It was a random, free-flowing, hilariously messy ride into the minds and backstage lives of entertainers where anything could happen, and did, including a trip to a goat farm. Overcoming a lack of direction, resources, and tech ineptness, as well as multiple zombie cyber attacks, a project not expected to last even a week soon developed into a must-watch show like no other. But don't take my word for it. See for yourself, right here on another episode of Calling Comedians in Quarantine. Is that it? Did we get it all? Awesome. Well, hello everybody. It is uh, 12 o'clock. This is our noon edition of calling comedians in quarantine. Uh, this is uh, this is now episode four. I'd like to uh, welcome Crystal for coming in here. Jen Kerr is coming in. Thank you so much for coming. Um, hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday afternoon. Uh, beautiful uh, in terms of sun, um, but super cold. I had to go to the grocery store today, and uh, like literally froze my uh my forehead i don't know if anybody else has experienced that but uh looks like we got patty in here robert thank you so much um patty i would love to have you in my live video but i can't because uh the, this is an episode of calling comedians in quarantine and uh, our special guest today is going to be derek tennant who will be joining us in a minute here so um so patty thank you though for wanting to be a part of it but uh, unfortunately can't do it because we're actually in the middle of a show. But I hope you say keep watching. We're going to be talking uh, today to Derek Tennant about, about comedy and life and being in quarantine. Um, and as well, I um, also want to talk about uh, what makes today very special for him. I'm going to let uh, kind of him unfold that information as we go here. But uh, thank you for tuning in. For those of you who don't know what's about to happen here, we um, uh, are on the episode four of Calling Comedians in Quarantine, where we just want to have a good time and uh, talk about life and talk about comedy and also uh, give a little off-the-stage perspective of uh, what our lives are like because uh, we can't get on the stage anymore, so this is our opportunity. So hopefully you'll be encouraged and laugh a little bit during this time. So uh, I am going to invite uh, Derek Tennant. I'm going to give him a call. He's going to be the comedian that I'm going to call here on I always got to figure out how to do this and here we go we are going to add tenant let's see if Derek is uh is here today and uh, I think he's in qu quarantine somewhere in the United States of America there he is hey Derek what's up man I'm eating some bacon some American bacon American bacon is that better or worse than Canadian bacon now you've had them both uh it depends how many people are watching from Canada right now. <laughs> um, I would say uh, let's, there's seven total. All right, let's, cool. let's say yeah, just mind. based on population base. Here's the problem. I, I can't hold the phone and the bacon at the same time. You're making the right decision with the bacon, my friend. <laughs> I, I I I do get a little bit jealous of your keto diet because I as as a, as close to a vegan diet person I can't have the meat but you can eat all the meat you want. And I am doing so. And and you're looking good and healthy. So well, how, here's the thing: I'm looking good and healthy. I I've, I've had a lot of health improvements, and I'm on a vegan diet, eating no meat. 
you're looking good and healthy. You've seen a lot of health improvements and you're eating all the meat in the world. How is that possible? Um, if God didn't want us to eat meat, he wouldn't have made animals out of it. That's a, you know? that's a, that's a good point. That, that's what the zombies believe too, you know. That's why they come after us. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Well, buddy, I'm glad that you're joining us today uh, on episode four of Calling Comedians in Quarantine. So you've been quarantined down in uh, down in the states somewhere. You don't normally have a home base per se, but where are you quarantined today? Uh, I'm in Syracuse, New York. Nice. Now you've been busy though. Like I mean, like some That's of us have just been staring at the wall, looking at things. But you've actually been very busy over the last few days preparing for today. Tell what's going on, man. Yeah, well, today's a big day, especially because of this right here. Hi. <laughs> Julie, how hey. are you? Good. Good. You don't know me, but I've heard a lot about you. That's good. His name's Timmy. Cool. <laughs> cool. Your, bro your, bro your brother was on tour with me last week. In Canada. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. He, he did great. He killed it up here. It was awesome. Cool. <laughs> It's nice and, to finally see you. I've seen your pictures all over the place. But so everybody <laughs> tuning in right now, this is Julie. Um, she uh, she probably is a bigger me? star than Derek. We should be just be talking to Julie most likely. But uh, we're so <laughs> okay. Wait a second. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> too much <laughs> airtime for Julie. <laughs> she was That's she even had airtime every show. We did nine shows, right? And Julie was on the screen every show. She was on the screen for every show and uh, and you got a lot know of that, love. Right? So what's so what's going on today? You're so you're hanging out with Julie, but what what's what makes today so big, man? Well, other well, there's two things. One is uh, the cereal puzzle that Julie's going to be doing in a little bit. Nice. Th those are those are a lot harder than people think. Not yes. four hundred. No, is that easy? Five hundred is a challenge, but I have help. <laughs> you hear what you said? Four hundred <laughs> pieces is easy. Oh, five hundred. So 500, 500 gets a challenge. little bit difficult, starts to push the limit. That's when she you. calls mom and dad in. She phones a friend. <laughs> oh, my niece too. She loves what? It. My niece too. Yeah, yeah. Audra helps. Everybody yeah. helps. There's mom hey. and dad out there. Everybody say hi. Hi. Hey, mom and dad. Hello, uh, You are live in Canada, my friends. Oh, yeah. You guys are in Canada now. They were just in Hawaii. I think they like that better. Yeah, I can imagine, man. If I never saw another day of snow in my life, that would be now, awesome. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Well, today was super cold. Sun is shining, but uh, my forehead froze just going to the store. Your forehead? Yeah. Like That's up interesting. Here? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Thanks. Well, Thanks I had for my, pointing out <laughs> what a forehead lesson. is. I had my Here's hoodie mine. on, and I was all covered until <laughs> this part. Got, and I had sunglasses on, so like this part like froze up on me. It was so weird. <laughs> that is so a little weird. weird. Now, um, just for the record, just for full disclosure, um, I'm just wearing a hoodie. That's why I like doing this show. I have no pants on. I've made that known throughout the tapings of these shows. So I won't be walking around doing a whole lot of stuff. But I just wanted you to know um, ahead of time. Thank you for that. I appreciate yeah, yeah, no that. Problem. Are you still but, wearing your crazy socks? Buddy, I, let me try to do this without trying to reveal too much. This is a family show. <laughs> so awesome. there's, my, there's my Batman socks with a little bit of a winter theme. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> maybe, no I should cons maybe I should no consider wearing... No extra charge for the, for the acrobatics. Huh? I should consider wearing pants uh, in the future <laughs> episodes, but I'm not going anywhere for weeks. So why, why, put, why do that and have extra laundry? Yeah, I agree. I agree totally. So I am I am wearing different socks now. These these are my regular go tos. You know about these. Yeah, and that's um, that. It's pretty serious that you're not wearing those, right? But yeah, I I've worn these for as long as I can remember for years. Like wed weddings, I perform in them. Um, I swim in them. Like like literally, these go everywhere. Yeah, you perform in them like without shoes too, right? Without like, shoes. So I wanted everybody to know about these. So yeah. So to take these off today. Um, had to be for a special reason, and uh, that's, so that's that's why these socks have gone on my feet. Here's so, mine. So... Oh, if American He's themed. Good. Yeah, I got a, a a compression sock that's good for the circulation on one foot. 
and then it's USA on the other. <laughs> so, so why are we wearing socks though? What, what's like, I don't like, I can't even f feel the correlation. Like for every, let's let everybody know. Um, number one, we got a lot of people coming through here. And I just want to say once again, that this is Derek Tennant here. My name's Timmy Boyle. What's up guys. And, and you are watching uh, calling comedians in quarantine, but um, we we're just talking about the weird socks that we're wearing. You so know. today is uh, World Down Syndrome Day. That's correct. So it's uh, because Down what? syndrome, Down syndrome is caused by an extra chromosome. It's right. it's it's a number twenty one chromosome of which you and I have two. Um, but people <laughs> like my best friend here. I have three. You've got three of them. He's got three. Therefore, three twenty one chromosomes. Three as in March, 21 as in the 21st. Boom. There you have it. March 21st is world. Hi. What is it, world? What? Down syndrome day. I exasperate Julie. She already looks like she's had enough of this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. She, yeah. she especially likes when I ask her what day it is. <laughs> I'm weird, she says. Kind of runs in the family. Okay, so 321, that makes sense now. So she's got an extra, chrom an extra 21st chromosome, which you That's would you refer to as the love chromosome. That's correct. Our grandfather said it's not extra, but you and me are missing it. And it's called... The love chromosome. The love chromosome. <laughs> <laughs> so, nobody when people, else um, when so when people say that, that a Down syndrome person is missing something, the opposite is actually true. They actually are... What what'd you, what'd you say, Derek? It's an upgrade. Yeah, some people call it a handicap or a disability. I call it an upgrade. Nice. See, typical. Oh, I think we froze it. There you are. Typical here, upgraded there. Typical Beautiful. <laughs> upgrade. Show the upgrade again. See, up, <laughs> upgrade. Up here. <laughs> up to myself. Yeah. Here's lowly me way down here. And there's upgraded Julie. And there's the upgrade. <laughs> That's so awesome. And the answer so, to so everything is, is on one of her shirts that she's wearing right now. Just love. Just love. That is the answer. So, but why the socks? Where's the connection with the socks to all of this? So years ago, somebody mm -hmm. decided as a way to celebrate, support, and show uh, camaraderie for World Down Syndrome Day, they just said, let's wear crazy socks today on March 21st. I don't know when it started or who started it. And there's actually now a guy, a kid named John Kidd. He's in his 20s uh, in New York City that started a company called John's Crazy Socks. And he has uh, the love chromosome as well. And uh, he's killing it, man. John, I, I'm pretty sure it's johnscrazysocks.com. Nice. Um, but, nice. I mean, milli literally millions of dollars of socks sold. And you could pro I guarantee you can buy some Batman socks on there, too. So next <laughs> pair you should buy, definitely. At John's Beautiful. crazy socks. Oh, However, I don't want to pump that up too much on the day that we're releasing Julie's cool shirts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, I definitely, I definitely right wanted here. to talk to you about that. Oh, is oh, who's that? My dog Hooper. Hooper. Yep. Nice. What what kind of dog is he? He doesn't have the love chromosome. No, it's a Shih Tzu. Oh, I love the Shih Tzu. The best part, he sleeps with me. <laughs> He's so adorable. <laughs> Okay. He's so nice. Well, everybody say hi to uh, to Hooper. That's so awesome. There's Hooper. See his name? That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, so, okay. So today, though, you guys are also doing something special at 321 this afternoon, which we want to talk about as well here. Am I right that I'm showing you far too many things that are more entertaining and attractive than me right now? <laughs> like Hooper uh, and Julie, I, <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> let, let's say this. No, mat no matter what it is that you're doing down there, as long as there's the static picture of me on top, everybody's going to be happy. Okay, we're good. Okay. The only thing that could trump it is this. <laughs> <laughs> no words are necessary for that. Okay. I I'm trying to see what I have to, I mean. I, oh, that just I, got a lot of hearts on the screen, whatever that means. I, I oh, boy. Hello. Fries are done. <laughs> I got a potato, so, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I we'll didn't see. even notice all these people are commenting right now. That's awesome. Hey, Robert Yeah, a lot of Beckham. people say, a lot, 
Look at all these people giving love to the dog. Um, I know it has nothing to do with me. I'd like to think that had something <laughs> at least a little to do with me. Not so much. No, it's, There's it's the dog and Julie, the socks. <laughs> Clearly, Julie, it's all about, there she is. Julie, one more look. You, you see all those hearts on the side of the screen? Yeah. That's all for That's you. That's all for you. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> all for Julie and, of course. And, of course, that. And, that, and, and your parents yeah. were in here, too. I mean, I've actually seen more people on this episode than we have in the other episodes. So you're just sharing the love. Like total? Like total, yeah. So we've only had three other guests. So now That's we've awesome. seen your parents and yeah. you and the pink dog and Hooper and uh -huh. Julie. Yeah, and I have more than one personality. Does that count? Yep, so we'll put that one on there. there. <laughs> but then you also, but you're only half a man, right? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's going to be great for the people that have no idea who I am. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's exactly. not really a knock. Yeah, you'll no, no. Well, you know. <laughs> I like how you're, you're all crystal clear up there and all the words come over my face. <laughs> yeah, stay on the one side there. In, in, Instagram knows what they're doing. I didn't even know how this thing worked. I haven't been on Instagram Live ever, but being in quarantine up here, I've decided I have to do something. So I've been learning how to do this. Yeah, Julie and I are going to try to do it today too at 321. Get it? Nice. So 321 was, at 321. That will be on, on yours at what? It's at, at 14 sleeves, right? Yeah, yeah. On, is that not up right now? No. Yeah, it's right uh, up there. It says with 14 sleeves up on the oh, top. Oh, does it say that? Okay, cool. Excellent. Beautiful. So, yeah, we're going to do one. And uh, and then also on Facebook, 14 sleeves. We're going to try to do the double. And uh, we've, we've got a big sale. I guess we can announce it here. Um, but 321. So we're going to give you three shirts or hats or items for the price of two uh, with one to share with somebody. And we want you to post online how you shared that shirt or hat with somebody and who got it and all that kind of thing. So that's the sale we're doing today. And that's it. That's for Julie's cool shirts. Yeah. For Julie's cool shirts.com. Beautiful. So you buy awesome. two, two products, you're going to get three. And we ask that you share the bonus one with somebody and, uh, and then share that story on her Facebook or whatever. And that guy's jogging. Why? It's like cold out. Yeah, it's like 30 degrees or well to you, that, that's like zero, I think. Yeah. Like people who say that they love running. They they don't nobody loves nobody loves running. I did a, I ran a marathon. I know, man. That still blows me away. No, every single person running that marathon, even the guys who looked professional and like had like the the shirts that like you know I don't know if you know that nipples bleed when you when you do marathons if you don't tape them up. But no, but that's that's fantastic. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Probably only one of mine. Only one of mine would bleed. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't prepared, but none of those people look like they were enjoying any moment of the entire run. Like everybody looks pained when they're running. That guy probably looked super uncomfortable, but he's going to tell people he loves running. He doesn't love running. Nobody does. Uh, were, were you the only one in the marathon wearing only socks? Uh, what makes you think I was even wearing socks? Oh, well, there, then there's that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hope I the pants were all been supplied. I wore, I wore the, I wore the bare minimum on that marathon, but I did, I did finish it. Hey, check it out! Somebody just said the poutine shirt in our house was worn six days straight. <laughs> awesome! Oh, I don't know if that is. Sweet. So uh, here's that. the thing: for those of you who may have been on the tour um, that we just had with Derek Tennant, uh, and like for seven of those shows, we didn't have these poutine shirts, but they are available right. now up here yes at your house or how's that work yeah yeah i assume <laughs> they're just at my house so if you <laughs> so want one money. of these poutine shirts what does that it say? says you, you had, had me, you at, had me poutine. at poutine so if you want one and of it's these pretty cool little, red and white what's that pretty cool little graphic there too huh that's awesome I yeah have... it looks like a uh looks like a wooden hand um, and like one of those half gloves. It's like Pinocchio wearing one of those kind of half, half kind of cut off. Yeah. So That's anyway, these shirts are available. You can, uh, you can, you, they can't come to my house, though, to pick it up because of the quarantine. But I suppose we can ship them out. So, so oh. drop me a line if you want one. We got all different sizes. And, uh, well, just, does uh, your just window open there on the and screen? We'll arrange that. 
Does your window on What's the that? street open up? Uh, yeah. The window, you can just I toss can it out it. the window, I could, right? I could lower it down. And they can throw a few toonies or loonies up there. Do you know people up here aren't even taking cash anymore? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. People up here are like turning down cash because they don't want to touch the cash. Oh, it's no, getting crazy, quite Really? Like, you want yeah. $100? Nope, I'm good. They're like, you got to use debit. So how about this? I have a square machine, right? So I can, I can lower the square down to the street as well. So we can take debit and credit and cash. So if you want one of those poutine shirts, you message me. We'll figure out how to make it happen. Um, E-transfers can work too. I I'll like take it. cash out my window. I don't care at this point. We could do trades. What would they trade me? I don't know. A pink dog, maybe. No, well, you could. But what about the people that want these shirts? <laughs> I don't know. That's up to you, man. I don't need anything. I don't need anything. I'm finding out that uh, I, I need less and less as my life goes on here. Oh, somebody just ordered a shirt on Julie's Cool Shirts. Awesome. Maybe it's somebody from this little broadcast. Beautiful. Well, thank you all for tuning in right now. We're going to be uh, talking with Derek Tennant for a, a little bit more here, and then uh, we're going to send him off. Because you got, do you have more shirts to wrap up for this big sale happening at 321? No, you know what? My awesome nephew, Evan, went with me to the shirt warehouse yesterday, and we finished up all the – Julie rolls the shirts like a little burrito yeah. and, then, and then wraps it with a, a wristband. Um, so you get a free wristband with every shirt as well. That's awesome. And there's now – over 1,900 products up at the little warehouse there. And uh, funny thing about this business, I've already paid for all those products. So <laughs> <laughs> order away. <laughs> Get it now. Um, let me, uh, I, w I wanted to ask you because we, we do want to talk, we, we've talked, we talk about various things on this one, but I do want to talk to you a little bit about, about comedy in particular. All it was right. so great having you, having you up here. That was um, a great tour, man. And you were able to use, uh, obviously, comedy to inspire but why do you do comedy what what is what is the genesis behind your your wanting to give the gift of laughter in the midst of everything that's going on you know it's it's it just kind of happened you know i had uh when i was 14 i had an, a brain injury uh, which left me paralyzed on my left side um so sometimes i feel left out um, are we supposed to insert our jokes in here or now? Like, are we not doing that? Uh, listen, it's, it, there are no rules to this. I'm not wearing pants, man. So, like, whatever okay, happens, good. happens. Well, I'm all right. So, see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, and after that, um, I would be asked to speak at a different thing. And, I, and even before I got hurt, I did a little bit of public speaking and stuff. And, but never really had the guts to do comedy, stand-up comedy. Because if you speak for, like, you know, two hours and you do three funny things, people are like, that guy's hilarious, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but comedy for an hour, you got to do 200 funny things. So I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. And uh, and I actually took a comedy class. That's kind of what launched me into actually trying, like, regular comedy. And that was in 2007, I believed. And... uh and then I started doing, uh, I never really had to open mic, I think, because I was already on spe stage so much, I was able to host pretty, uh, pretty right away after I took a class hmm. and then started, you know, traveling and hosting and featuring and whatever. And then realized I could combine it with my passions of, you know, loving on people and trying to be generous and all that and uh, teaching people to use negatives in their life for a positive. And it's just all, I, I didn't design any of it. It's just kind of all happened. And I just, try, I kind of live today, you know, I'm trying to yeah. live in the moment. And, uh, and my goal is to love on people like Julie, my sister has taught me to do, you know, she does it by default with that extra chromosome, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, I mean, I, like I, I've heard and I, and I kind of subscribe to it in some way. Like you, you said you went off to a comedy class uh, I would say that if, you know, a lot of people that got to go to comedy classes, if you have to go to a class, you probably are missing the key elements as well. But obviously, you, you, you have you always been the funny one, though? You already had that internal. Yeah, yeah. And my family's funny. You know, it's I have, uh, you know, all of us are, that's a big part of our life and our happiness. Um, my friends in high school, one of them said one time, 
he goes, he told my other friends, he's like, dude, you got to go to Derek's house for dinner. It's like the Cosby show. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like the best compliment I ever got. You know, like, I love that. Cause that is, you know, my family, it, it feels like a, a sitcom in a good way. <laughs> Uh, were you, were you Rudy? Were you Rudy uh, in that scenario? Maybe. Um, I, I was the you know the handicapped kid they bring in when they start jumping the shark. You know, just to, yeah. <laughs> the, the season seven got to bring in <laughs> right. Seven. Yeah, when they have to, <laughs> you know. But in my house, we always know when the music starts playing, things are going to work out. You know, that's awesome. Um, we're going to give people a, a moment here um, to, uh, if you have any questions at all, this is your moment uh, to, because uh, yeah, on this show, I haven't been reading. yeah, it's it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of laughter emojis and and hearts and stuff, which is super cool. But if you do yeah, have a awesome. question for for myself or Derek in regards to comedy or um, what we've been doing in quarantine or um, World Down Syndrome Day and the sale that's happening, this is this is your time to do that. We have a few you realize they're probably all, they're probably all going to ask questions for Julie. You realize that, right? Or, or my thing. parents or the pink dog, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, if a question comes in for the pink dog, um, that this, that will be the uh, the winning element of this entire show. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure the pink dog signs, so you know we can <laughs> we can. I've got to get an interpreter, but I think. So, oh no, yeah. I thought everybody left, but Julie's still out there. You see her. She's still, she's still hanging around. She's in Are you hiding? No, I'm Oh, okay. Just so are you, are you officially in quarantine? Like, like, are you able to go anywhere right now? Or are you guys kind yeah. of grounded in the house? We, uh, you know, the, you know, all of it is suggestions and recommendations, I suppose, from government officials. But I, I mean, I've been out of the house, like the day I got back from the tour, I went to the grocery store because it was just about to start happening. Right. You know, we, we were, we didn't know what was going on. Yeah. It was the next day to... that they cut the limit down from two fifty to 50. Like we just got that tour in under the wire. Yeah. Yes. Although at 50, we might've been safe in a couple of those shows. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Crystal asks, uh, Derek, besides Julie, who inspires you? Oh, great question. I love that she put besides Julie, man, you know, people, people that are generous inspire me people that uh choose to give rather than receive as a default you know you know and and you know the question would be who is that i mean I, we all know somebody like that i think when you say something like that think of somebody generous somebody comes to everybody's mind and those are the people that inspire me people that just love as a default you know when you're around them you feel good and they're always you know your needs are more important than their own needs kind of like this person over here yeah Y'all, <laughs> she's busy on her iPad right now. That's funny. Oh, and Crystal says she misses you. So, oh, that's Crystal. Crystal. Hey, Crystal. <laughs> Crystal. Crystal. Well, that, that's when you know you're somebody, right? When you're just like Crystal. When you get Crystal, a double like, like that, yeah. I'm just Timmy. Timmy. That's going to be super cool when I get to that point. That's a that's a buy one get one free. <laughs> So what's the plan for the rest of the day? What do you What are you guys doing there in the house? How, how, do, you, do you like? Is this like a game family? Like like when you talk, you, your family's pretty close. Like what do you guys do when you're hanging out together? Uh, we, uh, Jewel, what are we doing today? Anything? I don't know. We don't know. Is the puzzle happening today? Uh, later, probably. Hopefully. Later, probably. Hopefully, a puzzle. Um, there'll definitely be some eating. We just had some bacon and eggs. That was good. And. Uh, I'll probably get outside at some point just to get some fresh air. Um, okay. But we've got to prepare for, um, like I've announced all over the place that Julie and I are going live on Facebook and Instagram, but I don't know how to do that. So I've got until 321 to do that, to figure out how that works. I'm assuming it's pretty easy, uh, given the people that I've seen live online. I think it's got to be pretty well, easy. Well, I'm telling but... you what, if, if I figured out how to do this, um, you're, you're going to have no problem, my friend. Yeah, you're doing a double, so geez, I should be able to figure out half of that, right? Doing a double what? What am I doing a double of? The, you and me are on this screen right now. I'm only yeah, trying know, to get one right? screen going. Yeah, and so we're in different spots. So, I mean, you guys are all in the same building. So that's going to be easier. Uh, Re that's Rena right. says hi. Robert Marina. Hey, hey Robert Marina. Awesome to see you guys. Um, Steven says, are you allowed... Canadian back bacon considering the restrictions 
So the back bacon, I don't really know what that is. Is that like that? What is the stuff I had with you? I think that's just Canadian. I think that's Canadian bacon. I think we call it every, that's the thing. We, we're trying to make it make sense to you. We just call it bacon. I don't even know, <laughs> but I think he's trying to make it so you understand. Yeah, like, Canadian bacon Canadian down food? here is like ham. If, we, if I sent you down um, a packaged ham, um, can you eat it or will they stop it at the border? I'm pretty sure they don't care. They've got, unless you rub some Corona on it, then we're probably okay. <laughs> the, the number of Corona line jokes out there are getting oh. ridiculous. I think, I think there should be a ban. If you have to use, <laughs> if you have to use lime in your coronavirus joke, you, yeah. you, sh you shouldn't be allowed to, to tell jokes. Let it go, man. Let it go. Yeah, I haven't I haven't uh, approached much. There it is, pea meal bacon. Thanks, MJ. That's what I pea meal bacon. Canadian <laughs> bacon. It's fun to say. It's amazing though how quickly like like a lot of stuff happened. You know, we talked about you know World Down Syndrome Day. We talked about you know the you know the the the, the sock connection and then the sale you're having. But when you bring up you know Canadian bacon, all of a sudden every single comment. He's like, now we got to chime in on this. Like, this is important. Let's talk so, about. So, yeah, no kidding. Like, does pea meal bacon actually have peas in it? Is that where it gets its name? Oh, another shirt just ordered on Julie's shirt. It's cool shirt. Nice. What, uh, what, Derek, how are your beach feet? Is that uh, oh, something that you know? Is that something yeah, that you know that I'm assuming know? I post a lot of pictures from a tropical beach somewhere. And, uh, yeah, they are missing it, as are my. Well, mostly my right foot is missing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey malachi the magic guy has just joined in oh hey what's um, up malachi did you ever find that deck of cards i left at that one show <laughs> no i did i got a message from me yesterday they couldn't they they couldn't find it so oh man um, that without revealing too much it took me 13 decks of cards to construct that deck <laughs> oh man well yeah they said they, they said i mean they it's a normal deck <laughs> They couldn't find it. Well, Malachi um, did uh, did comedy on our tour for the very first time uh, when you were up here. Um, and uh, so I'm going to give you one moment here before we shut down here to, to maybe encourage right, well, I got Malachi. I was reminded of something, too. I should I should get in here with the pea meal uh, bacon thing. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to I forgot to ask you when, up, when we were up there, if you knew what the difference is between roast beef and pea soup. Do you know the difference? <laughs> no. Well, Lime. it's pretty much that Lime? anybody, any anybody can roast beef. <laughs> okay. All right. See, I always the show always. Please tell me you didn't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got yeah, it. I heard a well, womp 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 noise. That's that's the bell Fries that I stole from my high school when I when I graduated um we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up so uh thanks for coming on the show today buddy um i hope the sale goes well so once again it's up fate it's it's facebook live and instagram live right yeah both of them are 14 sleeves one four sleeves just like it says at the top of the screen um facebook and All instagram right. gonna be and uh at 321 and if you can't make that just, that is such a groaner somebody just said but it's a great one Anybody can pea soup. I mean, roast beef. Hello, I ruined it. Not that there was much left to be ruined. But juliescoolshirts.com, designed by this kid. Thumbs up. Which kid? You. Oh. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, this is right, great. Man. Well, I, I, hope, I, hope this, I hope the sale is a success. Thanks so much for joining us today. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly be in touch, but uh, go get whatever you need done, done, and uh, have a great time this afternoon. Hope this All right, love well. you, brother. Miss you guys. Love you, too. Talk to you soon. All right, peace. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Calling Comedians in Quarantine. Please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, and ring the little bell so you and your friends don't miss any of the laughs. Episodes will be uploaded here at Timmy's Shorts daily until I run out. And be sure to check out the description below for links to connect with myself or my guests on social media, support us by buying merchandise, and also download the podcast version of this show. Until next time, remember, your brain, it's for thinking, not for eating. So just say no to zombies. My name's Timmy Boyle.